man's greatest scientific and technological triumph, revived after 50 years. NASA marks the 50th anniversary of the last moon landing with the promise of a return, and soon with the very rocket that will return mankind to our closest extraterrestrial neighbor. It's done phenomenally, right? So we've, we've done all of the burns up to till, till this point uh, flawlessly. Uh, we've added some, some extra tests on it, uh, even for the, uh, for the Plus X auxiliary engines uh, test that we did that performed flawlessly as well. So yeah, it's a really, really great performance. I'm happy. Artemis returns home from the moon today, bearing the capsule that will one day land astronauts on the moon once more. It's the same triumph that Mission Control felt 50 years ago to the day as Apollo 17 touched down on the lunar surface. Everybody on this flight was a big man. There are no little guys, and if I can borrow just a quick phrase or a quick word that I read yesterday that our president used, in terms of, a wor of words of Sir Isaac Newton, we stood on the shoulders of giants. Apollo 17 was the end of an 11-year American program to be the only nation to ever land humans on the moon. It was the sixth landing and bore the last of 12 men that would walk on the moon's surface. Due to enormous cost overruns at the time, NASA's budget could no longer sustain the endeavor, and no human being has set foot off-world since. Um, we still have a few primary objectives ahead. The mission is going very well. We've accomplished a number of bonus objectives above and beyond what we had planned pre-flight, um, but we still also have some risks ahead of us. But now America is going back. Artemis's maiden flight lifted off from Florida last month and circled the moon last week before today's return in preparation for 2024's Artemis II, which will bring humans on a flyby of the moon for the first time in more than half a century.